Chef Matt Bergman from Wild Eggs. Love having you here. Love being here. And I love this item that's on the menu this morning. You've had it before then. Is I've that, been in once saying? or twice okay. and I've eaten this a couple times. So, so we're going to do our breakfast burrito. Um, basically, I have a little bit of queso fundido heating up right here. Um, it's just that a, looks good. Yeah, it's a mixture of a couple different cheeses, uh, a little bit of jalapeno, roasted jalapenos, and some cream. That sounds so, good. Yeah, it's delicious. So that's all nice and hot. Um, we're going to start out with some diced onions. We're going to put these in the pan. We have some poblano peppers, which don't really have too much of a spice. Some, like in the middle of the summer, they have a little bit of a kick, but yeah. nothing like a jalapeno or anything like that. I didn't realize that that was a seasonal thing. It is, yeah. I mean, you know, the jalapenos uh, are, are much hotter and, and serrano peppers and things like that in the wintertime. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if it's just from the indoor growth of them or, you know, where they come from in different parts of the country or Mexico. So, yeah. And then we have some crumbled cooked chorizo here. You want to use cooked chorizo. Um, we, we basically roast this off every day and then just kind of crumble it up. It, you you just don't have enough time to cook it in the pan um, before you brown your eggs. So kind of while that's sauteing, we have three cracked eggs, um, extra large grade double A eggs. Of course. Yeah, absolutely. You're just going to mix these up. Um, we have a... Uh, so three eggs for the burrito. Three that's... eggs for the burrito. Yep, four for the omelet. Okay. Yeah, three eggs for this. Um, the more you mix them, the better off you are. We have our... Uh, this week, we have our four millionth egg. That's we, what I've we're heard. expecting that delivery coming in uh, on you know Monday to Wednesday, somewhere in that region. So, so this is one of the dishes that could qualify. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, free breakfast for a year—you can't beat it. And if you come every day this week, you'll get free breakfast one of those days because we buy it for the entire restaurant. So that is pretty cool. Yeah, so to increase your chances, just go. Just every come day. every single day, exactly. Okay, so we're pouring that into yeah. the pan. So you basically, I was sauteing those veggies. You want to kind of turn your heat down just a little bit. Um, you don't want to brown those eggs too much. Um, for a breakfast burrito, uh, you obviously you never want to brown the eggs, but it's, it's a lot different than an omelet. You're doing it scrambled. So yeah. it's, it's, it's actually a lot harder to brown your eggs doing them scrambled, but you still want to turn your heat down quite a bit. Okay. So while that's kind of going, we have a couple tortillas here. We're going to put a little bit of shredded cheddar jack cheese. And you can use anything you want. If you want to do a whole wheat tortilla, oh, I'm yeah. guessing. Yeah, you could, could do wraps. You could do carbs. spinach tortillas. Yeah, whatever you'd like. So this is almost there. That looks good. I, I didn't realize that you cook it all like that because when you get it, it looks on, like the, <laughs> yeah. You just don't really think about the process right? going in, all the ingredients behind exactly. it. Exactly. So yeah, we're just gonna pour this in, and then and then just roll this guy up. Kind of bring if you bring your edges in, especially if you're doing a handheld burrito. These yeah. aren't really handheld, but um, you won't leak all over the place and okay, you won't make a mess. So yeah, always fold your your ends in first, and you're just gonna kind of wrap this. We're going to put it on this plate, and then this queso then, fundido. It's very uh, touchy. If it turns brown if you get it too hot, um, and then it, if it's too cold, it's too thick. So it's kind of a little happy medium you got to hit on that. So we're going to pour a little bit of this on here, and then we garnish it with some sour cream, some pico, some green onions. Okay. And that your is, finished product is right there. 